All right, we have a special guest here today, Chris Villa, an old friend of mine back when I started uh, crawling. Uh, we got acquainted and he's got me a little something to play with. And here is Chris Villa's rig in action. Stay tuned till the end after the interview and we'll show you the full running video of this amazing beast. <laughs> First, catch us up. What what you been up to? Oh, you know, just um, I have little kids, so I've been just raising them, but uh, still heavily involved in the hobby. Um, you know, this there's so many creative people in this that you can't just walk away yeah. from something like yeah. this. And, and by the way, I didn't mention that he was he is Highway One RC, so that's yeah. why he must yeah that voice and that that uh, that smile looks familiar. <laughs> one of the one of the many in the crew, but yeah, it was, it's a group of us at Highway One RC. But yeah, this is uh we're still here, we're still doing RC, and uh, we're still sharing it with everybody. Absolutely, you know? absolutely, local guy Pacifica, and I'm here in West West San Jose, so we uh, we group crawl every once in a while. Yeah, but he noticed he's been talking to me about this honcho. And my buddy bought one and I made a vi couple of videos on it. And he says, wait till you see my honcho. So he just dropped it off. I'm gonna test run it, even during the California storms. But before that, I, it turns out this is not stock. No, no, actually no. Um, and it's funny, um, you know, when the Jeep came out, I was still thinking about getting one. And uh, actually when this Tundra body came out, I believe this is a Tundra body. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it's the base camp body, which is kind of t Tundra ish, yeah. Yeah. And uh, I had to have it, you know. Axial, when the honchos come out, they're they're like gems. So um, right, tundra with with honcho cage. Yeah, it's, it, it started it's, speaking to me. It had a, it's it spoke right to my wallet. And the, <laughs> <laughs> the light, the, the twenty LED lights turned on, and, and his 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 lights, his eyes lit up as well. Yeah, and it was uh, what's really beautiful is. Um, we took it out and did a box stock video, and uh, I was really impressed with the lights. I was really impressed with the way it looked, you know, um, that uh, I went back to Jason at JJ Customs and said, like, you know, we have uh, in-house products, RC hop-ups and speed tech, and I said, let's just deck this thing out. And that's why we, we, we literally put everything we have into this truck. Wow. Yeah. How many products so would you say are, are in this product? You know, like, I'll tell you this. I'd love tech. for you to drive it. And if you really enjoy it, you know, maybe we'll sit down with Jay and Jay will let you know everything. Because I don't want to miss nothing because there's so many. Oh, okay. I mean, we did a lot to this thing. Really? Yeah. I mean, if you pick this thing up, it's probably going to be the heaviest SDX6 you'll ever carry. Exactly. So good performance on that stock 25 pounder. We took it on 10 scale lines. And I know it can do, you know, re real big lines. But this one, I go, I go with a few modifications. This thing can 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 slay. I'll tell you this from the box stock. The one thing that bothered me was probably, um, you know, servos are always going to be stock. But you know, you got to respect that. They're giving you the best deal they can out the box. So mm -hmm. I, I enjoyed that part. But the foams, it was really every time we would get into like an intricate uh, crawl, it the tires would just bother me. So we have steady foams in here, and I'm surprised this thing's been sitting on display for like. I want to say oh. almost a month and a half, and it has not flattened or no flat right. spots. Uh, yeah, steady foams is really one of the most impressive things that doesn't come out of JJ's that's on here. But we we put a lot of weight down low. Uh -huh. I mean, the only thing that's still stock on here is the body, the plastic accessories, and the chassis, the motor, and electronics. But um, everything is pretty much decked out. On so you want to open her up? And, yeah, you and, can go and, right into and it. Show us, show us what. Give us a taste of what uh, what has changed over here. Um, all the servos, um, all the you know the mechanicals, the drive shafts. We even have a lot heavier fluid in the, the shocks. Mm -hmm. um, you can see the towers. So these are your products, yeah. Speed Tech. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are our uh, mm -hmm. RC hop ups. Mm -hmm. Speed oh, Tech is more of the batteries, the servos. But um, RC hop up, we got these. If you see the axles, do you see the diff cases? Yeah. So if you saw yours, we got these beautiful diff cases here. Oh wow! Oh yeah, they're beautiful. I love the uh, the, the the smoothness. Yeah. Of, of yeah. that of that bulb. And 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 abuse them. Don't don't uh -huh. don't be gentle. I want you to really enjoy this thing, man. And tell and I'd really love to see what you think of it. Right. But I mean, uh, we did as much as we can. All the internals are all RC hop up. So. Right. So yeah, send us uh, when I when I do the video, um, give us give us a link 
uh, to each product as well. Yeah. So the, the audience can see it. I had a good it. friend of mine, Angelo. He did all the electronics so that you'll have a, there's a, the monitor on the, the, the FM radio, you'll, it'll light up. Oh, what? And the, head, the headlights light up. Yeah. Oh. So at night, because uh, one of the things, one of the beautiful things that I enjoyed right out the box was the lighting. The uh-huh. headlights are just bright. We, it was yeah. Like the first night yeah. call I ever did was with this vehicle. So the best, probably the best stock lighting. Really, on, really on, blew me by mind on, on a, in a vehicle. Yeah, you blew know, my mind. I, I appreciate that when companies don't just give you these two dollar LEDs and can call it comes with lights. You can't really see with them. Yeah. Uh, so, so this had legitimate lights. Beautiful lights. I think it's a trend. I, the new one eighteen. Axial Capra? Yeah. It's crazy lights too. Oh. Rock lights and everything. I mean, I've been around Axial products for about five years and from going just to like a Jeep body with no, you know, these hard wipers and these lights. I mean, shots out to Axial for really just, you know, giving a customer, you know, listening to their customers. You know? Right. And right. you see it more with Axial Fest. Axial Fest, I've had a chance to go to, the, I think, three of the last ones. Best times I ever had. Really, huh? Really enjoyed them. You know, really, really okay. enjoyed them. I'll, uh, I'll make it a point. I made one, but I'll make it a point to get to this one. What are we looking at here, Chris? Oh, you know, just add on lights and. So the exterior lights, did you, did you add anything? Oh, just the interior ones. And then you see the rock lights right here. Oh. That they're adjustable. Oh. Yeah, so. Okay, okay. Yeah. You know, um, Angela also did the body lines. That, that really makes a difference right. with the body, so. Mm-hmm. Door lines, uh huh. Yeah, I mean, out of a like a box stock with accessories, but the scale look on these swampers, these Pro Line swampers, just look really aggressive on this truck. Yeah, I was just gonna ask you about the tires. Yeah, yeah, I, they really uh, blend in to to the body. It just gives it a real aggressive look. Um, we actually had a chance. Me and my son took it up to Golden Gate Bridge. Everyone loved the way this thing looked. Mm-hmm. You know, so. Yeah, it's a beautiful looking rig. The uh, let me uh, let me do my tabletop. People were, were kind of mad at me. They said because I gave it like five seconds, and I said this is not for tabletop. And the other comment says, "Oh, you give up too easy." <laughs> what's what's that tabletop? Uh, I mean, running out of the table. Oh yeah, <laughs> running yeah. out of this table. I'm like, this is not the right uh, venue for this. Uh, I think they were just kidding. <laughs> But yeah, one of the great things about this this vehicle is the motor ESC. No one should ever upgrade the motor ESC on this because it is just dialed uh, out of the box. So there you go. I, now I really, um, I really am, you know, I was leery about spending this much money on this, but after I bought it, it was worth it. Uh-huh. To me personally, I think it was worth yeah. it. Yeah. Because uh, the simple fact is like, um, you know the scale of it i mean the tires i didn't think they would pull off the scale this well but it looks great and yeah. the, the honcho i mean the jeep's beautiful i got friends that have the jeep but for some reason this one appeals to me the most oh yeah yeah you know? likewise likewise and and a bunch of my friends we were kind of kind of there and this this put them over the edge um because it's it's just so you know i think actually i'll just went i called it version two in my review okay, because it's the same chassis but they they improved seven, eight different things on it. Yeah, it's funny you say that because that's when I saw this, I was like, Jason, get me one. <laughs> <laughs> and it's funny because it, it had that appeal. Exactly. You know? It really did. And I think, uh, like, like Chris mentioned, he put the heavy shock oil and <laughs> you can see it now. Yeah. Basically, it feels like a car suspension uh, where you can still articulate, but now it's not going to be bouncy anymore. And that's going to add to the one-to-one appeal of it. it yeah. It's so much closer to one-to-one. But this, yeah. what you've done is make it even closer to one-to-one, meaning your, your actual full-scale vehicle. And, and the thing is, I'm really spoiled. Like, I got a lot of people helping me build custom trucks because I literally hang these off the cliff of Pacifica. <laughs> and, you know, the stock one, it just felt chicken leg. Like, it didn't have enough support in the yeah. back. And it... It came over twice, and this thing almost fell in the ocean already once. Exactly. So. Yeah, so... And when they fall in the ocean, they're talking like a 100-foot fall. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. You're never getting them back. I've lost three vehicles to the ocean already. Man. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a three. unfortunate situation, but, you know, we like to push the envelope. Yeah, yeah. There, you so. guys are... People have died on that cliff. For you, you know, you, we, you we, we had to slow down because the landslides got really bad. Uh-huh. So, you know, when people were bringing... You know, there was times where we almost had almost 
40 people out there and with kids so you know wow. people's safety is like our main concern so yeah but ho hopefully um you know after this rain slows down maybe we can get another crawl back out there yeah but people are still going to bean hollow which is another amazing place right by bean us. hollow Ooh, i'm just take this so the weather i have a weather window tomorrow i'll take it out if 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 i miss that uh i should go to bean hollow because that thing will hold up we'll have traction yeah. even in the rain yeah so yeah i'd love to hear what you think of them because you know your reviews are amazing man you've done so much for the community so right on well thank you chris thank you for bringing this over and uh <laughs> will keep me busy for the next couple of days yeah and you guys keep watching subscribe and like and keep crawling audience that's yes, all this is all about thank you Hello. all right as soon as chris brought it over i had to rush to the woods before the big storms and I used my e-bike. It's a new specialized e-bike complements of EMTB Review, our sister YouTube channel. And it's awesome. Got me there. Lifted this 30 pound bike up to the mountain. Got my exercise and my crawl on. So here I am in Saratoga Park. And this, that is a American Indian kitchen. That's how they grind their stones, their acorns. So it's probably been there a thousand years. The CX6 just ran right over. Alright, this is a tricky one. Very sharp roots. A lot of axle eating roots. And this thing does well. Look at it. Just power through this thing. No 10 scale can easily go through this. Like the SCX6. So First gear is three miles an hour, so that's mostly what I use. Second gear is 10 miles an hour, so I'll do that later. Check this out, this, no 10 scales ever. Clear this, very slippery, roots, clearance issues, little bump, still in first gear, not a problem. Right here you see the glory of our local waterfall, which hasn't flowed in five years. But the NorCal Deluge has given us a lot of water features. A little descent there, it went sideways, and then kind of tipped over. Alright, tough little descent in between rocks, big rocks. And the SCX6 shows its power. This reaches over, touches the ground. Bumper clearances are amazing. Love it. So take note, the, it turns out my steering servo screw, the arm, was loose. So the steering was not that great on this day, but uh, Neil and I figured it out and fixed it. So you might see more three-point turns than necessary on this video. And look at that, look at those tires. I forgot what tires Chris put on, put on these, but they really are good for the mixed terrain. Not pure rock, but roots and water and clay. I love it. And he is using that special foam. It's not his own product, but he raves about him and really, I, I like him. Yeah, it articulates, it, it, it lets the tire compress, but it's very supportive as well. Look at that clearance. So by the way, links will be in the description. Will be in the description. Chris and JJ Hobbies have a couple house brand products. One electronics and then a bunch of pop-up parts like brass and whatnot. So make sure you support Chris and JJ Concepts. And there's the bike that I was talking about. We'll try to link it up. Thank you.